Hi, my name is Susan. I'll present today the lesson of electric current for fourth graders. The learning points of my lesson. 1. Define electric current. 2. Define conductor and insulator and give examples of each. 3. Define or know what an electric circuit is and identify its main parts and their functions. 4. Compare open and closed circuits. 5. Compare series and parallel circuits and recognize how each one works. Electric current. What is an electric current? When negative, and remember the word negative, electric charges move continuously, they form an electric current or electricity. As you can see in the figures below, the electric current is moving through the wires. Conductor and insulator. What is a conductor? Let's study some examples together. It's a material that allows electric charges to move through it easily, like metals, example aluminium, copper, silver, gold, iron. Even you are a good conductor because your body is made of water and minerals. Moreover, tap water is a good conductor because... What is an insulator? Give examples. It's a material that doesn't allow electric charges to move through it easily. Examples rubber, glass, wood, plastic, dry air. Wires used to carry electric current are made of metals that are good conductors such as copper and insulators such as rubber or plastic to keep current from passing where it's not supposed to go. Electric circuit What is an electric circuit? It's a path that can carry an electric current, flow of charged particles. Parts of electric circuit What are the parts of an electric circuit? Energy source, like battery or electrical outlet, like the one at your home or school, Device that is operated by electricity like a bulb. Conductor to connect devices like wires. Electric circuits can be either closed circuit or open circuit. Closed circuit. Please look into the figure below. The electric current is able to flow because all the parts are connected in a complete loop, so it's a closed path and the bulb is lit. Open circuit. If you look into the figure here, the black wire is not connected to the bulb and thus the electric current cannot move, so it is an incomplete path and this is example of an open circuit. Switch. Use of a switch. Switch can turn the circuit on or off. If you look at the figure below, the switch is open and the bulb is not lit. This is because the path is incomplete and there is no electric current in the circuit. What if the switch is closed? Then the path is complete and the bulb is lit because the electric current is able to pass in the circuit. In the next video, you are going to watch the application of electric current and an example of simple circuit in a flashlight. Please think of what happened in the living room and we'll discuss this in the class.
Types of electric circuits Series circuit Parallel circuit Series electric circuit If you look at the figure below, the two bulbs are connected in a single loop. We only have one closed path. If one of the bulb is broken, the other bulb doesn't work because the electric current is no more able to pass through a complete loop. Parallel electric circuit In a parallel electric circuit, there are multiple paths that carry electric current. One or more loops can branch off the circuit's first loop. Now, if you disconnect one of the parts of the parallel circuit, the other part is not affected. Please look in the figure below. You will find out that one of the bulb is broken while the other bulb is not affected because we have more than one loop or path. This is why electric current at our home is connected in parallel circuit. After you watch the two videos, compare between series and parallel circuits, then think of a better way to manufacture the three Christmas lights. When a light goes out in this chandelier, the other bulbs don't go out. When a light in this chain of lights goes out, all the rest of the lights stay lit. And when a light goes out in this room, the rest of the lights in the room remain operable. In these examples, the lights are wired in parallel circuits. In a parallel circuit, different parts of the circuit are on separate branches. Notice how there are a lot more wires in a parallel circuit than in a series circuit. The separate branches allow the current to take several paths in the circuit. In this parallel circuit, if one bulb goes out, the other bulbs stay lit. The circuits in most buildings, including your home, are wired in parallel. Let's now take a closer look at some of the other features of circuits in your home. References Thanks for watching.